Workers at the 211 Helpline Center are getting settled into their new office building on the west side of Sioux Falls. Last December, we first told you about the growing pains the Helpline Center was going through at its old location in the nonprofit center. So, over the holidays, the staff made the move to a new location off of West 49th Street. Kelland's Perry Groton has your first look inside, which features a much larger work area as well as a kindness coordinator. 211 Helpline Center, what zip code are you calling from? Helpline Center workers moved into their new office building one month ago. It hasn't taken long for 211 Supervisor Kylie Wilmerth to feel right at home. The Helpline Center is a bit of a family, so it's nice that everyone has their own space, but we still can connect as a team. So when you come in, you'll notice that all of our cubicles are facing the windows, provide bright, natural light. The open area, bathed in sunlight, is important to workers who are often helping people get through very dark times. When our staff are on calls, they're often on very difficult crisis phone calls and they need to be able to focus on that caller. So we wanted to make sure they had a very peaceful and quiet environment to do that. The new building also includes a break room, a feature the Helpline Center never had at its old location. There's even a corner office on the second floor where you'll find a life-size cutout of the late actress Betty White, who serves as the Helpline Center's kindness coordinator. Most of us are Betty White fans, so it's really cool that we can have like those little times to just connect as a team outside of work and celebrate other people. It's important for the Helpline Center to be established at its new location well ahead of when the 988 Suicide Mental Health Hotline goes online later this summer. We know with the 988 phone number coming in July that we're going to be hiring quite a few more staff, so we wanted to have the capacity to have room for them. The Helpline Center is leasing the building that once housed two former call centers, so the wiring was already in place at move-in day, ensuring a seamless transition into a new office where the staff is ready for the next call. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. It took three days to complete the move, so during that time, the Helpline Center had some of its staff work from home, so there would be no disruption of service.